Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add this really amazing glow effect to your paintings or to your sketches. I know there are a lot of tutorials already on YouTube, but I just want to share my technique of doing such a thing. So I really hope you guys enjoy today's video. And if you do, please do not forget to give this video a big, big thumbs up. Also, do subscribe to my channel. Do let me know if this technique worked out for you now let's just jump right in okay guys so to start off with you want to just decrease the brightness of your sketch or your painting now if it is already kind of dark then this step is completely optional it's optional actually you don't really have to do it but i just think it enhances the effect of the glow now the next thing you want to do is you want to pick up a really bright and saturated color and this is going to be our glow color. Now you can choose any color. You can choose white, you can choose yellow or maybe orange. Now you want to add some objects or little elements around the painting from where the glow light is coming from. Now this is optional as well. You can just completely skip that and add uh, the lighting from the glow directly onto the face. Now the next thing that I'm doing right here is I just duplicated the layer where I painted that blue color. Now I am adding white color over that and I'm just going to be adding Gaussian blur to the layer, to the uh, colored stars layer, if that makes any sense. I hope this is not confusing. Now once you are done with adding Gaussian blur to that colored layer, just duplicate it once again and march those layers down and change the layer mode to add now this makes the glow effect much more prominent and i don't know it looks so nice so you guys can actually play around with uh, the layer modes once i am done with the stars now what i'm doing is i am picking up light brush from luminance brush set and Again, using the same bright blue color and I am using this brush really light handed onto the face, keeping in mind where the light is hitting on the face. Keeping that in mind, I'm just adding that color on the face, a little bit on the nose, a little bit on the neck and the top that she's wearing and on her hair as well. So you would actually make sure where the light is coming from and where the light is going to hit onto your portrait or whatever painting is that now the reason why i use white color um, above the glow color if that makes any sense is because if you look closely to any glowing thing or any light bulb for an example you'll see that the color actually starts from a really bright white color then it fades out in a different color so if there is like a yellow light yellow colored light it'll actually start with a white color in the very center of it and then it fades out in a yellow color i hope that makes sense you guys that is why i use white color just to make it more bright and yeah so here i'm just adding more color onto her face and her hair and also on her t-shirt Now I am kind of switching to a less detailed sketch because I kind of like it better. And now what I'm doing is I'm creating a new layer and picking up light pen to add some harsh looking highlights to the already highlighted places. I hope that makes sense. Now you can completely skip this step as well. Also if you are using any other software and you don't really have access to these brushes, then you can always add color dodge as layer mode to get the similar kind of effect now this is it for today's video you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful and if you did please do let me know in the comment section down below it really encourages me also subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up i post every monday and friday also if you do create something out of my tutorials then tag me on instagram and i'll see you guys the next time